Hey guys, and welcome back to That Was History. My name is Cliff Langston, and today we're going to delve a little bit into transportation history. In modern day society, we rely heavily on our ability to travel great distances in short amounts of time. The speeds that our cars and subways are capable of allow us to commute to work or travel to special events with ease. Businesses everywhere are thriving due to the fact that jets can fly people to anywhere in the world in less than a day. I mention all of this to point out how far we have come since the days of riding horseback. It wasn't so long ago that places like New York City were still using omnibuses and horse cars, the late 1820s to be exact. Horses were a great start for transportation, but they had their shortcomings. Horses had a hard time climbing hilly streets, required a lot of upkeep, and were susceptible to health issues and disease. New York's first solution to this problem was the cable car. These cars worked off of steam-powered machinery that was kept in a warehouse. Their downfall was the introduction of electricity to transportation, which is where I want to focus today. With the ability to use electricity to power a vehicle, the trolley was invented and used heavily in New York and other cities across the United States for roughly 70 years. Trolleys were faster and cleaner than horses and were cheaper to build than cable cars. They received their power from wires running above the street or from underground conduits. Unfortunately, the trolley would meet its match much like horse travel and cable cars when fuel-powered vehicles were introduced in the 1920s. Fuel power allowed drivers to travel almost anywhere, whereas the trolley was stuck to the path where electric wires or conduits were available. During the 1930s and 40s, motor buses would replace most trolley systems, yet some trolleys remained until the 1950s. In fact, New York City's last trolley would complete its final run from Queens to Manhattan on April 7th of 1957. To my knowledge, there are a few trolleys that remain in the United States today as tourist attractions. Currently, we are still in the age of fuel power, but hybrid and electric cars are starting to stir things up. I foresee a shift to electric powered vehicles within the next 10 to 20 years. What do you think? Leave us a comment about your future vehicle predictions in the comments section down below. If you liked today's episode, be sure to give us a thumbs up and help us out by sharing this video. You can do so on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, the options are endless. You can also connect with us on our social media sites as well. The links are down in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.